okay hello this is crypto mano and this is my content so on this video i'll be showing you how to fund your binance account with the nigerian era or any other fiat currency paper money of your choosing on this video i'll be showing you how to fund your binance account how to deposit naira or fund your binance account with naira or deposit naira on your binance binance account so right now here yeah, we're making use of two accounts an unverified binance account and a verified binance account so now First thing you need to do is log in using the website www.binance.com. You log in, input your email and your password, and take you to this page. So now the first thing you need to do after logging in is just hold on. Okay. So you click on this part right here. And as you can see, a drop down of different options. We have wallets, orders, notifications, product, buy crypto. So you can simply click on buy crypto right here. You can see pay with NGN, that's pay with the Nigerian era. If you want to change the change the currency, you can simply click on that part here. Click on it and then search for the currency of your choice. Click on NGN and then you see a, like a sub a sub drop down of other options. We can, and you can see right here, you can actually deposit using bank deposits, fund using your credit or debit card, your P2P trading, cash balance, and third party payment. So you simply click on bank deposit right here. Once you click on bank deposit, it takes a while to load. And as you can see, we have deposit right here. We have withdrawal, we have crypto, we have fiat. So why it's currently under fiat is because we plan on depositing that was funding our Binance account with a local currency. In this case, Nigeria. So as you can see, Nigerian currency. You can see right here we have the Nigerian currency. Then we have bank transfer. So now, what for whatever amount you want to fund, we shouldn't be less than five thousand naira, of course. Well, five thousand Nigerian naira or fifty thousand naira or five hundred thousand naira, depending on the amount you want to fund. 150 Nigerian Naira is the amount that will be deducted, deducted as the fee. 150 Nigerian Naira is the amount that will be deducted as the fee. So whatever amount you want to buy, you scroll down and box in the amount right here. Box in the amount right here. So it says, please ensure you have sufficient balance in your account before proceeding with the payment. This is not referring to your Binance account. It's actually referring to your bank account, like your Nigerian bank account or your currencies, your, your country's bank account, whatever, current, whatever country you're in. So now you simply click on this part here to box in the amount you want to buy. So let's say 50,000 Naira or let's just say 5,000 Naira, for example. So as you can see, it says something right here. It said amount should be between 150 Naira and 14,500 Naira. Meaning you using an unverified account to try to fund your Binance account, you're actually limited. The amount you can actually fund at a go is actually limited to within a minimum of 150 to maximum of 14,500 naira. So now if you want to buy more than that, if you plan on buying more than that, you would need to complete a verification other than just your email and your phone number verification. You will need to complete an advanced verification, verification using your BVN and then facial recognition. So now let's imagine we box in 50,000 naira now. You can see this pops up, it says, please complete identity verification to increase the limit to 4 million naira per day. That's four million nigerian naira per day now to increase the limit if you want to buy if your plan is actually buy more than fourteen thousand five hundred naira, which is the maximum for unverified accounts you simply click on increase now once you click on increase now it will take you to another page as you can see basic info so for your personal details to actually increase your limit to increase your withdrawal limit to 100 btc and then to increase deposit limit for selected local currency so local currencies in this sense has to be like the currency of your country. Just as we, just as in Nigeria, we in Nigeria have the Nigerian Naira. Those in, Aust in Australia have the AUD, that's the Australian dollar. Those in the US have the USD and all that. So now once you click on this part, once you get to this, get to this part right here, you see something like either facial verification or verify. This part right here, you simply click on it. So now I've, I've actually done the BVN verification, but for you newbies, once you click on it, you will see the space provided for you to input your BVN. You box in your BVN, you click on proceed or continue and take it to this page. Now, to make sure you are able to successfully complete the facial verification aspect, you have to have, make sure you're, you're not wearing any face caps or hats, avoid wearing uh, glasses, avoid using filter and use enough lightning. You can maybe go by the window or, you know, go outside. So will, the, the, the facial recognition software will be able to capture your face. I hope you understand that you click on begin verification right here. So once you click on verification, begin verification, it will take a while to load and something like, um, like a camera will pop up using your front camera, of course, to capture your face. 
I hope you understand it says use enough lightning so your face can be easily captured and then you would have successfully verified your Binance account of course now while this is taking too long we we'll go back back and now so let's make do with just 5000 naira out of bitcoin for example so now it says here it says the fee is 150 naira you will get 4850 and to we know if you know you want to get exactly 5000 naira it would be wise to actually box in 5150 150 yeah or better still 6150 depending on the case or you can just send deposit exactly 50, uh, 5000 naira and then you will get the amount you actually actually paid for so now let's just try let's go with 5000 naira of course so yeah as you can see you boxing in 5000 naira if you know you want to also cover for the fee then you would box in 5150 nigerian naira but if you want to send just 5000 naira you simply box in just 5000 and make sure that's the amount you're going to send from your bank account to the account number that will be provided by Binance. So now boxing 5,000 Naira, I want to buy 5,000 Naira out of Bitcoin. So the fee, 150 Naira fee will be deducted and I'll be getting 4,850 4, Naira worth of Nigerian Naira on my Binance account. Now you click on continue right here. So as you can see, it said important things to note here. It said, it said please ensure you've deposited the correct amount. You don't box in 5,000 Naira and end up sending 5,150. If 5,150 is what you want to deposit, you box in 5,150. If 6,000 Naira is what you want to deposit, you box in 6,000 Naira. You don't go ahead and type in 50,000 Naira and then end up sending 50,150 just because you want to cover for the fee. You have to take note of this thing because once you do that, the money will not reflect on Binance and it will most likely be uh, um, uh, returned back to you. It will be refunded back to your account. So it says, Please ensure you have deposited the correct amount. Please complete the bank transfer in 20 minutes. Otherwise, the account number, that's the one that will pop up, that Binance will provide, the account number will be invalid. Now, it says, please ensure you have sufficient balance in your account before proceeding with the payment. You don't box in 5,000 Naira now. You check your account. You find out you have only 4,500 Nigerian Naira there. And decide to send it like that. Okay, yes, this I can actually work with this. The funds, Binance will not receive value for that amount. And in most cases, it will be refunded back to your account. So once you've... Once you understand all these things, you then click on confirm right here. So now, once you click on confirm, it will take you to the next page where it says pay 5,000 Nigerian Naira to Binance. This particular transaction is, is it's very secure. So you don't have to worry about loss of funds or this thing. You don't have to worry about the safety of your funds. So it says, how would you like to make this payment? You click on bank transfer. Pay with bank transfer right here. So once you click on pay with bank transfer, an account number will pop up. It might be Ruby's Microfinance Bank. That Binance uses or a particular account number that would have been generated for you using Providus Bank through Binance, of course. So now this is taking time to load. Once you click on pay with bank transfer, it will load and then you know take you to the next page where you can actually proceed with payment. So just make sure you already have your bank account on standby with the amount you want to buy five thousand dollars, of course, in the account, or even more than that, also cover for the fee and all that. So now we said pay five thousand Nigerian naira. Hold on, this is taking too long. Sorry, you have to redo this whole thing. Now, simply click on bank deposit right here. As you can see, you're familiar with this. You're familiar with this part here. So you simply box in the amount, 5,000 Naira. Click on continue. I'm sure you're familiar with this already. Click on confirm. As you can see now, it's actually popped up with another bank account number. So as you can see, it says, Please proceed to your banking app to complete this bank transfer. So in most cases, this is the account number that will pop up. This Ruby's Microfinance Bank or a different bank account with Providus Bank that Binance has assigned to you. So once you get to this part, just make sure you're ready to make the transfer. So you see it says amount 5,000 Naira, account number 1359760746. Then the bank name, as you can see, Ruby's Microfinance Bank. Then the beneficiary name Binance Holdings Limited. So you don't really have to worry about the safety of your funds. You make sure you do everything the right way. You simply copy this account number right here, as you can see. You copy the account number. You copy the account number. Log into your bank app. Then make the payment from your bank app to this account number. All under twenty minutes. It shouldn't take you more than three minutes at most. Three minutes, five minutes stops. So once you've made, immediately you've made the transfer and you've been deposit, uh, you've been debited. You then click on i've made this transfer so as you can see it's saying processing payments so while they are waiting immediately they receive 
Binance received the funds, a message will pop up saying deposit received, meaning you successfully sent the Nigerian Naira from your bank account to Binance, to this account number that Binance provided. So once you've done that, now we're done with everything we want to do on the unverified account. Now time to go and use the verified account. So let's assume you verified the account. What I'm actually doing this is just so you can understand how to go about your verification process on your own verified account using the website. So once you've done that, you now log in using the app. You log in using the app. You can see where it is right here. It's it deposit Naira. So you can either go through this process using this option right here, or you click on trade, or you click on trade, and then come to this part. Right? You can see for the, from this top part, it says convert. It says convert spot margin fiat and P2P fiat. As most of you already know, fiat is your local currency, paper money. Nigerian era is fiat, the US dollar is fiat, the Australian dollar is fiat, Japanese yuan and all those stuff, they are fiat currencies. That's paper money, not like cryptocurrencies, not like digital currencies. Bitcoin and the likes are digital currencies. Our uh, paper money, those ones are fiat currencies, fiat money. So you simply click on fiat right here. You click on fiat. You can see once you've verified your account, you can then even come here to do the depositing. You can just click on, let's say, 5000 era. Come down to this part where you see deposit Nigerian era. Click on it. Okay, and it will take you to that same part where you can actually go through the old depositing process. So what I actually use the website from the onset is to actually show you how to go about the old verification process. Because using this verified account now, I won't be able to show you newbies how to actually go about the old verification process. And so just so you won't make mistakes. So having used the unverified account that I logged in using the website, having used that one to show you how to go about the old verification process, you can then come here to then fund your Binance account using the Nigerian So you want to box in 5,000 naira, for example, you can see, see the, still the same 15 naira fee. As you can see, this is the verified account. This is my verified account. It said amount should be between minimum of 150 to 4 million naira. That's daily. Minimum of 150 to 4 million naira daily. So meaning with your verified account, you won't be limited to just 14,005 as it was on the, um, on the unverified account. So once you box in that, you click on continue. As you can see, the same important notice. Ensure you have the correct amount. Bank transfer should be completed under 20 minutes. And then you ensure you have the official or uh, sufficient balance in your account before you proceed with the payment. So once you understand all these things, you then click on confirm. To take a while to load. And then you can see it says pay with bank transfer. So once you click on pay with bank transfer, Give it a while to load. And as you can see, this is a whole different thing entirely. So once you've actually done the verification now, eh, you can see it will provide you with a whole different account number entirely. Since if you've not verified your BVN and your and your what's it called and the facial recognition stuff, the account number that will pop up is the one that will is the one that, will, that actually popped up on the website, the Ruby's Microfinance Bank. Well, since I've actually completed my verification with the BVN or the valid ID card with an advanced verification, you'll be provided with your own unique account number. Now it says to complete this, it says right here, to complete this transaction, make a transfer to the bank account below within the next two hours. Please know that if you pay a different amount, your money will be returned. You boxed in 5,000 naira, 5,000 naira is what you should send to the account number. Don't box in 5,000 naira and send 5,150, or box in 5,150 and send 5,000 naira, or box in 5,000 naira and send 50,000 naira. But Binance won't they don't they won't receive value for the money just transferred and it will be funded back to your account. So you I'm actually giving this lengthy um explanation just so you would understand how it works to avoid any um mistakes that you know that could have been easily avoided. So now one other thing you need to note about this account number you can see right here is if for some reason you do not make this transfer as at this point in time, as a time the number pops up and you decide to maybe go back to refresh something. By the time you come back, always notice there's the possibility that one or two numbers among these numbers we have here, the account number would have been changed. It would have changed, you understand? You know, we have 997675735 here. It might just be the 73 that will change to 72 or something. Binance does it all the time, you know, just refresh account numbers and all that. So as you can see, it's a unique account number under Providence Bank that has been generated for you. So you can see Binance slash Emmanuel Yeni Yopayemi, which is me, of course. So now you then copy the account number. You want to click on copy copied you then go log into your bank app your nigerian bank account the app login search for providers bank box in the account number take a while to load and your name will pop up it's more like your own account number that binance has assigned to you you understand so once you 
made the transfer of 5,000 Naira from that account, from your bank account to this account number. You then click, once you've been debited, immediately the transaction has been successfully done. You then click on, I've made this bank transfer. So it's actually checking your payment. So once you've paid, this checking payments part doesn't take long. Once you've paid the right amount, so just load for a little while and then you would have successfully funded. You wouldn't want to receive notification through email too that yes, you've successfully funded the amount. So, 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 and so amount to your Binance account. So, we see we are still checking the payment. It shouldn't take this long, but for the fact that I didn't make any payment, that's why it's actually taking this long. They won't find anything because I've not actually made any payment. And there's no way they will receive value or deposit the amount on your account, even if it has, if you've not deposited the amount there. So, you have to make sure you send the correct amount. Make sure you've been debited before you click on I've made the transfer. Take a while to check your payment. Once they confirm your payment, the amount will automatically reflect on your Binance account. So now let's assume we've made the payment and the amount has reflected on our account. You simply go back here. So now this is me trying to show you how to then convert that Nigerian Naira to BTC or any coin of your choosing. Now you can come right here, this trading part right here. You know we have the funds in come under spots. Under spot trading right here, spots. You know we have um the funds in naira and you're trying to convert to a cryptocurrency for example and in this case btc you simply come to this part right here like you want to place a trade or you can search using the market so let's say you click on market and then you search for you simply search for btc slash ngn which is the nigerian era naira in this case now is the base currency and btc is what you want to buy you simply search for it and then click on btc slash ngn right here once you click on it, take it to the page. This is the chart. So as you can see here, it says buy and sell. You have Naira, you want to convert to Bitcoin. You simply use your Naira to buy the Bitcoin. Now you click on buy here. Once you click on buy, to take it to the trading page, of course. And as you can see, so you simply focus on the options under the buy column. You can actually use it, use the market order to make sure the thing execute faster or use the normal limit order. So once you've done that, so let's just say I have about a hair. So I have about a... 63,596 Nigerian Naira on my account. That I have about 63,000 Naira in Naira on my Binance account. So 63,596 Nigerian Naira. So you simply come to this part. Let's say I want to use the entirety of that 63,000 to buy Bitcoin. You simply come here, click on 100% and you tap buy. I hope you understand. You come right here, click on 100% and you tap buy. Once you initiate that order, you give it some minutes for the order to be successfully executed. Once the order has been successfully executed after you've placed the buy order, then you would have successfully converted your uh, funds in Naira to BTC. I hope you understand. Very straightforward. Fund in Naira, when the money has reflected on your account, you search for the trading pair BTC slash NGN with SGN, NGN as the base. Then you come under, this, under the buy column. Click on BTC slash NGN search for it. Take it to the trading page. Come under the buy column. So I want to use the entirety. I want to use everything. Like all this is 3,000 to buy Bitcoin. You click on 100%. Then click the buy. Click buy BTC right here. So once that has been done, you wait for some minutes for the order to be successfully executed. Once it has been successfully executed, then you would have successfully converted your Nigerian era to BTC straight up. So even if your plan is not to buy BTC with everything you have in Naira, you can simply click on 50% or 25% which is a one quarter of your capital, 50% meaning half of the capital, 75% meaning one third of the capital, and 100% meaning everything, the entirety. So I hope this is very straightforward. So this is Crypto Manuel, over and out.